This is the Diabolic Daddy Gaming Show with Dark Devil. <laughs> We're taking a look at the scout. The first thing I want you to note is where it sits on the bracket. Dead center. It's the splitting point <clears throat> that can lead you up one chain or the other. Its counterpoint is the vanguard. So before you purchase the scout, take a look at the vanguard. You may want to snake your way up around the tray, uh, around the grid by way of vanguard. The scout is a pretty decent machine though. The heat rockets are chargeable, or heat cannon. The heat cannon tears guts out. It's a high burst of energy. It does have its drawbacks, as I'll explain later. The tow rocket, it's got some distance, it's got some damage, it's slow. So, this machine is really good at dealing some damage, but it doesn't do it quickly. Now, what kind of machine would this be? Well, it's not a particularly heavy machine, it doesn't have a lot of armor, and it gets fast. But also, it has a replenishing fuel tank. You hit X and you have instant fuel again, so you can sprint, sprint, sprint across the battlefield. Items-wise, it comes with a blockade and the portable scanner. I'm not really big on these particular devices. There are ways of using it effectively. I'll keep the blockade. Eventually, dodge the scanner. I'm not so big on it. The thing I have enough radar. It comes with the basic deflector as far as its internals go, which is a nice way of uh, some damage prevention, and a fuel converter. So when you take damage, it changes to fuel. Pretty simple. I think we can work with this. So we're going to try it and run around a little bit with our scout. Now the first thing I try and get out here and do is bring the damage home. There is the tow rocket damage against that big bad boy there. Not terribly impressive. And I still haven't quite mastered this machine yet. I have owned it forever. i never really done much with it. And to be honest, would I say buy it? Ooh, if you like moving around quick. You can mod this baby out to quick and you like quick. That's probably the most effective thing to do with it. It's really good on matches like Siege and anything that requires you to go in quickly to do something and then escape quickly. However, people don't necessarily look at you as they do with the big boys. And there you go. You can get yourself some kills that way. They're going to pay paying attention to something else. You roll up, you smack them, you get some points. Some people make this work really well. To be honest, the fully charged heat cannon is a wonder of artificial mechanical engineering. It is a dream, depending on whose side you are, of course. It's a nightmare if you catch one of things. But if you notice, my 300 health get whittled down very rapidly. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to trade out some stuff. The first thing I have to do is get rid of that stupid scanner. I decided to look over some weaponry, maybe an HE charge or a turret or something like that. I end up getting the health recharge. Now I decide what kind of thing do I want? Do I want to commit to a big thing or blah blah blah? What I decide to do is pick up a lot of everything. So there's the afterburner, I'm going to pick up a full reconstructor, I'm going to go back in and you add a little power surger, and it's going to make this little thing a fast son of a bitch. I like it this fast, but again, it's not my normal way. This guy, I don't know what he's doing, but this is awesome. Okay, I know what he's doing. He's repairing himself. This thing is really hard to aim from any distance, so I just go up here and just pound the heck out of this guy. And it goes over that quickly. And I throw up my little chicken. Hey, they're giving me free emotes. I might as well throw some chicken out. So now, I'm going to try and charge my little thing. It turns out you can fly and charge pretty well. You can't sprint and charge. 
That's one of the things I don't like about this. Because I try and get to the battle with my charge, and I can't do it. I can't sneak up people with a thing charged. This heat gun belongs on something else to a degree, and one of the big problems of the scout is you can't change out your weaponry. I know, I tried. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I would like to get rid of the tow rockets and get something faster. The heat gun, like I said, is a, a marvel. I love the thing. The tow rockets are killing me. Having two guns with such disparate abilities and not being able to change them out really kind of sucks. So that's my big hang-up with this machine. I see people use the scout effectively. If you have the money and you haven't picked up something else yet, uh, I'm going to show you the Vanguard video. There's, I've got a little series of these videos now. You may want to look at some other options first. I mean, you should anyway. Be a smart shopper. It doesn't matter what you're buying, whether you're buying games, if you're buying video games, if you're buying parts for the video games, if you're buying Macs, if you're buying a real car in real life. You don't stop on the first thing you buy and then, and then buy it. You look around. And I've got plenty of videos to help you do that. You can even subscribe. Heck, you may look and go, Pocket might not be the game for me. Maybe I want to play Wizard. Well, I'm going to start some videos on that. See, this thing works pretty well if you can fly well and aim well and move fast. I'm throwing out blockades because I can throw out blockades, but I'm not particularly good with them. Eventually, I do pick up something with this machine. I develop an affinity for it, so it's not an entirely bad machine. Very few of these machines are entirely bad. They have their purposes. I like this machine. I wish I could make it work better for me to do the things I know it can do. I know people are out there who can make this thing sing, probably. Not me. So, would I advise you to buy it? If you're the guy who can make a machine bounce across the battlefield and kill people at the same time, this is probably a great machine for you. It's got some pretty heavy-duty charge. It's a pretty slick machine, I mean, in all honesty. I mean, I can do some big damage in a group, I can go up and brutalize in small scale. Well, my time is coming up to an end. I'm going to close out with this, because this is pretty much what I can do with this one-to-one kill at best. But I won't. And that, my friends, 